Yeah, at the back, and they'll come to you. Um, by any chance, are the records coming back? Uh, are we talking about 81, or are we talking about the... Well, like, anywhere. Well, I mean, I'd be very surprised if the records don't feature somewhere, sometime. You know, especially if Nick's going to be... Nick and James are going to be, you know, co-authoring a book. You know, I'm sure they're going to want to revisit their records. Would we have records in 81 onwards? Always a possibility, given that I kind of have a soft spot for them as well. So, yeah, I would imagine you'll get your records fixed soon somehow. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think there was bound to be something like that. I mean, there is no link, is the quick answer. You know, there was never meant to be, and neither would IDW want there to be any link. But I don't know whether it's legal or just IDW very much said, here's our G1 continuity from the, from the, from the year dot to whenever we started it. And it's not encompassing anything else. It's like, you know, saying, would we take the Marvel run into consideration? No, because it very much is the IDW Transformers verse. And I think that has to be the case. I think, you know, otherwise you do end up confusing readers if, you know, there's a reference to the war within in, in IDW. So, you know, no, I, the quick answer is no, it doesn't happen. But I think, yes, because both Don and I were working on Stormbringer, stuff sort of seeped in by osmosis. Yeah, and you know, absolutely. And, you know, there was no point doing the characters all over, over again. You know, when we'd already put them back into Cybertronian forms. You know, poor Don. You know, he put so much in anyway. To ask him to re re retro design everything would have been just unfair. But he made tweaks, definitely.